<laughs> this guy's toast. During a long mirror match against the mage, I found myself with a chance to win the game. After I managed to break my opponent's first ice block, they went on the offensive. That's not counter spell. I pop his flirt first, I have the advantage. I have the high ground. Well, I can take that risk, right? Knowing that the last remaining secret is not a counter spell or an ice block, I can win the game through a greater arcane missiles. A spell that would shoot 3 missiles randomly, each dealing 3 damage. With my opponent at 3 health, I just need 1 missile to hit him in the face. However, he has 3 minions on board. A Medivh Valet, an Alex Raza, and a Loot Hoarder. While the Valet and the Loot Hoarder can only be targeted once, Alex Raza can potentially take all 3 shots. So the big question is, what are my odds of winning if I just played Greater Arcane Missiles right now? The easiest way to visualize this is through a probability tree, where you map out every single possible outcome. So for the very first shot, there will be 4 possible targets, each with an equal chance to be hit, 1 over 4. If it hits face, then the game is won and all subsequent shots does not matter. But if you hit any of the minions, then you'd have to calculate the outcome for the second shot as well. If you hit the valet or the hoarder with the first shot, then your second shot will only have 3 remaining targets, Alex Raza, the other minion, and the face, as you cannot target a dead minion anymore. For Alex Raza's case, because she can survive the first shot, she will still remain a viable target for the second shot. Once again, we make note of the probability of each possible outcome. And let's go ahead and fill out all the possible outcomes for the third shot as well while we're at it. So, looking at this tree, if I was to ask you, what are the odds of the first missile hitting Loot Hoarder, and then hitting Alex Raza, and then hitting Jaina? You can calculate it simply by multiplying 1 over 4 by 1 over 3, and 1 over 3, which comes out to 1 over 36. Of course, what we're interested in is the odds of hitting Jaina with any of our three missiles. So all we have to do is add up all the outcomes involving Jaina, these ones which comes out to about 67.5%, meaning if I just played Greater Arcane Missiles straight up, I would have a 67.5% chance to win the game. Alright, so now that we calculated the odds of that play, let's talk about what to do with our 3 remaining mana. We could have used our hero power to ping down the loot hoarder, which will increase our odds of winning with the Greater Arcane Missiles to about 78.7% which is an 11.2% increase. You can work this out yourself using the same method I just showed you. Or we can use the remaining 3 mana to ice block and wait for one more turn to look for damage. And this was the big mistake I made. Incredible. Incredible. It seems like a safe play, right? You play the missiles, and if none of it hits, just ice block up and live one more turn for a good chance at drawing lethal. But the problem is, at this point of the game, I was fully aware that my opponent had a second ice block in hand. Because he has played multiple secrets, and then after, he played both archaeologists, which means he's guaranteed to draw both ice blocks. Yep. So even if I survive a turn, it won't matter, because he can just set up his own ice block which essentially negates the one I will set up. What I needed to do was ping the loot hoarder to increase my odds of winning, as playing the ice block really does not matter. While you can consider me unlucky that I didn't get the win, I did make a mistake and was punished accordingly. Initially, I was pretty upset about the outcome of the missiles, but later on, I recognized my misplay and pointed it out. That's really tilting. That's upsetting. 
I mean, I guess I could have pinged the 2-1 to improve my odds, but I get three shots. And the thing is, if I kill the 2-3 or the 2-1, they can't get hit again. So it's not like I'm trying to roll it. Roll like 25%, 25%, 25%. It's way better than 25% each time. Yeah, I think pinging was the right play because I'm pretty sure if I ice block, I don't win. Yeah, I guess I should have pinged. Yeah, no, I should have pinged. Because if I miss, the ice block's not going to save me anyway, right? So there are three reasons why I want to make this video. One, to show off all the math involved in Hearthstone. Two, to explain why the play I made was a mistake. And three, is to recognize that despite wanting to blame RNG for my loss, I also need to focus on how I could have improved my own play. Because ultimately, that's how you become a better Hearthstone player. If you're interested in a little homework, feel free to calculate the odds of Cabal Courier giving you lethal. Since it only costs 3 mana, you can play it before playing Greater Arcane Missiles to see what are your options first. Essentially, if the odds of getting lethal off Courier is greater than 11.2%, which is the increase you get from paying the Loot Hoarder, then maybe Courier would have been the better play. That's going to do it for me guys. Please let me know in the comments below on what you would have done in this situation. And also if you like these more educational content. I know I'm not the best Hearthstone player in the world, but it's through learning moments like these that I can get better. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Lights out.